neighbors some neighbors sucks so bad all right you guys so I have some news for you and maybe just tell you why we haven't been here again life happens okay so anyways I think during that time I had a doctor's appointment yep it was before Halloween I mean uh, so I had a doctor's appointment and it was all bad bad news uh, they wanted to change my medication uh, so I had it changed and the side effects was just horrible and you know it's really hard for me to sleep um, also it doesn't help that our neighbors are pretty loud at night so that doesn't help either but on top of my medications it was hard for me to sleep uh, so I was stressing out about it <clears throat> and then I was told that I might have diabetes and it really sucked because I lost 10 pounds and you know I was doing really good but then I got really sad about that news uh, I know that I can change that I can fix it without medications I haven't gone back to the doctor since she's been calling me and telling me to come back uh, but I'm just not ready to go back and I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do all my plants and stuff yeah so um, so that's that and then I don't know if I don't think I blogged this but uh, we were supposed to move well we already wanted to move because of the living situations here it really sucks like I can't uh, it's not it's not good for me it's not good for my family so but Isa decided you know she wants to finish her school first and then we can move and we really thought about it and we were like fine I guess we can like uh, we can suck it up and stay for another six months and deal with this BS and uh, and then move okay fine um, so I had to like unpack most of the stuff that I already packed and just lots of disappointments last month and I just I was getting depressed I was getting really sad like why is this happening to us I didn't understand it but you know it's life and we did choose to stay here for you know until she finished her school but it's really it's really stressful but <clears throat> today was a new day yesterday last night um, I really thought I was gonna have a heart attack um, and that's how bad it is I I just I don't understand it and I know that there's a reason why this is happening um, I believe that we are being tested for I don't know what but I know that there's a reason and I'm gonna let it go I'm gonna let it go and I'm gonna move on with my life I'm gonna try and not hold on to this anger this frustration um, because it's not gonna do any good for me or my family so we're just gonna try we're gonna pray really hard and you know uh, David and I said that if we find something that's good for us um, and I also asked Isa if that was okay if we can move she said okay because she knows the situation she knows what's happening um, so Guys, you know, I've been wanting to move. Like, this is not my dream. Like, I guess if, like, if, if it's just us, it's, it's fine. But, um, 
we can't we can't do this anymore we are going to see what we can find we're gonna look again next week or in a, a week and a half we're gonna look and see what's out there uh, we did look but uh, we found a few things that we liked but they weren't available to show us which really sucked um, but yeah we're gonna keep looking and we're gonna keep praying and we're gonna try and um, deal with this issue and move on with our life be happy um, okay yeah so that's what we pretty much do with every day every night and I feel really bad for David I didn't want him to work in a day shift because of this because it could happen I mean it's it happens almost every night <clears throat> so it sucks it really sucks but you know this is not my house can't say anything um, so I'm just gonna, like I said, move on, pray, and hope for the best. Um, what about you guys? How are you, how have you guys been? Um, can you guys believe it's already November? I it went by so fast, and I'm hoping that it's gonna go by faster because I cannot wait to get out of here. I cannot wait to move on with my life i cannot wait to grow i cannot wait to start baking again there's just so many opportunities you know but anyways isa came home she or i picked her up because she threw up and she's sick but she's feeling fine now uh, i don't know what happened I, I guess she was at pe and then she they were doing like the steps on the stairs on the benches and she she said she she couldn't see anything like everything was black and then she threw up twice and yeah poor baby but she's like she feels okay she ate a sandwich um, and she's just resting right now um, yeah I've just I've been busy unpacking some of the stuff that I packed already but I'm gonna slowly pack again because you just never know what if we find something next week because you know if it's available and if we can get it right there and then then for sure we're gonna get it I'm hoping Isa I thought Isa was there so yeah um that's pretty much it like i i don't think there's any more news other than you know it's the same thing just different day i'm sick i'm sick of my medications um i haven't worked out since that happened it's just it's crazy but anyways, I always think that, you know, others have, have it worse than I do. I mean, I'm still thankful that, you know, we have somewhere to sleep. I have somewhere to cook and feed my family. But that's, that's the problem. I cannot even, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to get out. Guys, please, please, can you guys give us give us some love and pray for us and hope that we find something so we can move. Pray that God will lead us to the right way because I I don't know. I seriously don't want to have a heart attack. Knock on wood. See, it's that kind of stuff that you know and then like when you're sleeping at night you think everything's fine and dandy and then you're sleeping and then you wake up because you thought that someone bombed your house or 
something crazy like that. Yeah, and it's not like I can go to a different room, you know? I'm like stuck in this room. I can't go anywhere to get some peace. We haven't had any peace. So, yeah, it sucks. But we chose to stay. We chose to come back. We chose to stay. So when the door opens, we're walking through that door and we're going. And and one with our lives. All right, well, that's that. That's what's up. And um, I'll see you guys later. Bye.